it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a copying the model video. How long has it been at this point? I had a series called copying the model a while back where I would basically see an item or an outfit I liked online on a model. I would buy the entire outfit. We would come back to this room and we would try everything on, which the more I think about it is kind of what I do in every video, but this is just purposely picking the pieces the model is wearing, buying them, and then showing you what they look like on my body. So my measurements are listed down below in case you would like to read them to sort of get an idea of sizing and stuff like that. I'm typically a US size 20, just depending on brand and all that kind of stuff. So in this video, we are hauling Nasty Gal. And when I tell you this is the prettiest package, this showed up at my door, this huge package, which I don't remember ordering this much stuff. So I'm a little bit confused. It's heavy, it is full. There is quite a bit in here. I did pay for all this stuff myself, by the way. I picked it out, all that stuff. I have pictures I'll show you on the screen. Now, I don't think, if I'm remembering correctly, I don't think I've ever tried Nasty Gal. So I ordered based on the size charts, my typical size, and what Nasty Gal recommended that I order for my size. So it's sort of gonna be hopefully um, a hit and not so much of a miss. No, I didn't order shoes. I picked outfits that I liked that I owned shoes similar. So that way I wasn't spending a ton of money. Plus if I own something similar, then I'll just wear that instead. So what I'm going to do is obviously I'll show you everything, but I will link everything in the description box down below in case you love something and you have to have it. Now I'm pretty sure I hit Nasty Gal when there was a sale and maybe there's always sales. If you shop there often, then you know that more than I do. But I think I spent about, it was less than 200 bucks. I wanna say like 189, 190 was my total. I think I have four outfits to show you. So let's get into it. First item is this really pretty corduroy, like burnt orange dress. I'm playing with the sun right now, so I apologize as it like creeps up, but I'll put the picture on the screen so that you can see my inspiration. I already own these boots. First and foremost, the holes for the buttons are tight. So this is in a US size 20, which is my typical size. I liked the look of a shirt, but it's a dress. And of course, like I own these boots and I've worn them so many times and they're the cutest they're not the most comfortable, but they're they're fine. Like I can wear them for a short amount of time and be fine. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the belt. All right, so US size 20. Um, it's a little bit snug. I wish that I would have gotten a size 22. And I honestly, I should have known better. Um, but again, Nasty Gal, I don't think I've tried it in the past. So I love the color. I love the look of it. I mean, the fit, the sun, man, uh, the fit is not terrible. You know what I mean? It's a little bit short for me. I'm 5'8". Let me look at the picture and see how she does the belt. I like this for me because where I live is not super cold all the time, but I still want to look festive, like holiday, fall-ish. There's a look at the color <laughs> off to the side so that the sun doesn't interfere with it. Next outfit, way out of my comfort zone. So we have this sweater with a pair of, I'm pretty sure they're faux leather, plus size faux leather split hem trousers. I got the pants in a size 22 and I got the sweater, the tag says 22, 24. I wanna get a real time reaction to me putting these pants on. Okay, they're a little bit big super high-waisted they're long which is nice and then the model had this like front tucked in let me go put on some boots that i own that are similar to the picture these had real potential um i just think they're the wrong size so i probably needed two sizes smaller i like the look on the model i just don't think it's translating to me. Again, I did put on some heeled boots and these pants are still super long. Um, they're actually really soft and could be really, really comfortable had they been the right size. The sweater, not my favorite. It's a little bit 
itchy. Um, and also I wanted it to be more oversized like it was on the model. So I think I should have sized up in the sweater and down in the pants. They do have pockets in the front and pockets, like they're real pockets in the back and the front. I like that they're not skinny. Um, they just don't really work well for me. So this one wasn't a total fail. I think it could be cute again had it been the right size in each item. All right, this is more my speed. So we have a lounge set. It comes as a two-piece set. I got it in a size 22, 24. I probably shouldn't have done that. See, the top fits fine. I would even like the top a little bit more oversized or oversized in general. But the pants, like on the model, are cropped and just cute. And I just don't think... Okay, so I had to buy the same size for each item. It was a two-piece set. You pick your size. You get the same size in both things or both pieces. I wish I could have sized up in this and down in these. They are comfortable. They're a, like, traditional sweater material. They're not super soft. They're not itchy. It actually says it is 100% acrylic, but surprisingly, it's not itchy. I like this color. It's called Stone. Um, to get the pants to like <laughs> be like cropped on me how they were or how they are on the model, I can roll them. And that's more so how they looked on the model. Okay, so note to self, pants run big. But from what I remember, I don't think that this set was super pricey. Like it is, okay, it's comfortable. And last we have this look. It's just the sweatshirt. These are my own leggings and white sneakers. But this is in a size 22, 24. This beautiful like hunter green color, kind of longer, a bit baggy sweatshirt. And it says, well, the sun, <laughs> good vibes only. It's very soft. I feel like this is a true uh, representation of the size 22, 24 versus the other pieces. This is sort of how I expect that size sweatshirt to fit. So I'm going to say this is probably true to size in my opinion. I think it's cute with the leggings and the sneakers. This is a very Terran outfit, something that I would wear anyways in the cooler weather. So to just have a cute sweatshirt that's a little bit longer that I would actually wear with leggings is nice. I do think as well on the website, they had this in several colors. From what I remember, I, I think I remember seeing a black one for sure, and then the green one, maybe even a navy blue color one. I could be lying, but I, I think that's what I remember. Last thing I have is not an outfit, but I can't tell you the number of Fleetwood Mac t-shirts, like graphic tees that Nasty Gal had on their website. So I had to get one. I got it in a size 24, 26. Again, tons to choose from, all colors, designs, but it's just a basic like actual t-shirt versus a like baby doll tee or a fitted tee, which I prefer a regular t-shirt instead. Okay, yeah, that's exactly how long I like it, how I want it to fit, like a t-shirt style. The sleeves hit probably right at my elbow. A little bit long, but not uncomfortable long where I feel like my sleeves are just like flapping in the wind. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Let's style it. Let's throw on a cute jacket with maybe those first boots that we had on. So I have a green Levi's leather like moto jacket, and that was my thought for this outfit. But I remember when I bought this, like plaid jacket from H&M and I felt like this was more the vibe for the look. Yeah, okay. This is cute. I wish this jacket had pockets like down here, but this is cute. Again, these boots, I will link them down below. I'll link the jacket too, but the boots, I never knew I was this kind of boot gal and they are the cutest and you can style them so many different ways. I love it with the like flannel, it's not even a flannel material. It's like a thick jacket material, but I think it goes really, really well with the t-shirt. You could even do jeans and tie it. So that's it. <laughs> that's a wrap. I feel like this video was kind of short, but we did four outfits, copying the model outfits and then had this extra tee, which my favorites were the last two, this tee 
with the leggings and that jacket and then the green sweatshirt with the leggings and the sneakers. Am I impressed? No. Will I order again? Um, I may order like t-shirts like this and then maybe the sweatshirt because it's super soft and I feel like it's that perfect length and size that I want. The other items, like the first dress is cute as well. The corduroy, corduroy, why am I having a hard time saying that? That first dress is cute. Not my favorite. Like it's not something I feel like I have to have. The faux leather pants outfit is a no. The lounge outfit is probably a no. But these last two tops, I think I'd probably get some good wear out of in the cooler months, even this one with just bike shorts and sandals when it's a little bit warmer outside. I just like these kinds of longer tees. So again, everything you just saw linked in the description box down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't done a copying the model video in that series in so long. And when I looked at the website and saw such cute items, I was like, you know what, this would be perfect for me to try as well. And then for y'all to see if it's something that you would like. The styles are a little bit different for me too and I think that's fun as well. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!